Hello internet lords and ladies, boys and girls, and welcome to Steel and Shock Race Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Hello Shock. Hello Steel. I'm in the middle of a battle. Same here. Shall we get started? I think we shall. Okay, well mine is an epic Bidoof versus Bidoof fight. I'm sitting here hoping this Badoo won't kill my Shinx. Oh god. I think I think Bidoof is going to finally complete a battle without dying. Oh god, that would be the most amazing thing because Bidoof completely sucks. Yeah, this Shanks is pretty bad because <clears throat> it's modest, so it has a reduction to its attack. Uh, I'm checking Other out what the guide says about Bidoof. Bidoof pairs down its front teeth by constantly gnawing on trees and stones. It has nerves of steel. Hey, you should have used it on your team. Oh, uh, you're... you're absolutely right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I could have used Shinx, and I could have been happy. Oh, why would it ever have replaced my Shinx? It would just replace my starter, obviously. Your starter is already going to be a steel type. It would have to replace Shinx or Starly, and you need a flying type. I was kidding. Yeah. But I, I couldn't have had Shinx anyway, because then I'd have two electric types. Spoilers for my future team. But mm -hmm. I forgot to check the time when we began, so I'm just starting the time roughly two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, that's about what my recording thing says. But I've been recording for a bit. It's probably just a minute, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I had to use a potion. Freaking. He used a potion? Or he used a potion? I had to, yeah. Ooh, that's not good. The This guide even says the special moves for each of the person. Shinx's special moves are Tackle, Leer, and Charge. Special moves? Yeah. Wait, I, so he doesn't even learn an electric type move? Oh, no, I'm those kidding. are its special moves. I don't know. But what the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know, like, it's most recognizable or signature moves or something? Signature I, moves. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, like, looking at... Like, special move is such a weird thing. I'm battling a Psyduck. It's pretty weird. Yeah, so let's see what this says about Badoo. Anything interesting? Nothing really. I definitely got the better ability for Badoo, at least in the game. Oh, and he fainted. I didn't even notice. Good for him. He sucks. Pardon me? I I I am hating Bidoof right now. Uh, Cause he is the reason I keep having to go back to the Pokemon Center. Cause he keeps mm -hmm. dying. Okay. This music getting like sped up and slowed down constantly is the goofiest thing ever. Yeah, the slowdown has been annoying, but hopefully it doesn't affect the actual race factor of the race too much. Oh, I forgot that the Pokemon Center has a different music in this game when it's nighttime. It does? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, right, you're in nighttime now. So weird. Is it going off the computer clock, do you think? Yeah, because the Poke Edge clock is the same. Well, uh, all right, let's see. It says it's 2151, so yeah, that's exactly what my computer time is. Spooky. All right. Well, I'll need to make sure we're playing in the... Well, now I'm just spoiling the whole rest of my team. I'll try and keep it a secret. But I am getting a Pokemon that's based more in the night. So, but I will not spoil my last Pokemon. I refuse to let that happen. 
side. Okay, now I have to go back to the freaking Pokemon Center. To heal up stupid, stupid Bidoof. You know, I was really glad that in uh, Black and White, I think I think it was Black and White, they made it so that there was only that region's Pokemon in there. But yeah. Swoobat? Come on. Oh, God. They could have thought up something better to replace Zubat. Well, yeah, I, I really like how in black and white, almost all of the Pokemon, or it's basically like sort of a reboot to Pokemon, not exactly, but, mm -hmm. and a lot of the Pokemon are paralleled from Gen 1 into Gen 5, but yeah, Swoobat really, Woobat and Swoobat just kind of so sucked. dumb, it's like a flying pig and it's the ugliest thing ever, it's so ugly, it doesn't even look close to natural. I really, I, yeah. I, I never liked Woobat and Swoobat, but I did like Black and White. It's one of my favorite generations. I thought it did some really cool things. But it's my yeah. least favorite generation, actually. Really? Yep. Why? I, I, it just, the story was horrible. And, uh... Really? Oh, I thought it was just bad. Like, now that's I played interesting. I, I really like the story in general. Forgettable is what I'd call it. Oh, I thought Gen 5 had one of the most memorable stories. Okay, well, there's, like, N and, like, the whole castle thing, but, like, Black 2, like, I have no idea what, what I did in Black 2. Like, I don't even uh, remember. I don't remember Black 2, necessarily, but Black and White 1 had, N had the whole Pokemon should not be captured, and it parallels with PETA. Like, yeah. they, al they always try and parallel real groups. Now... What you're saying, I felt more... For one, in this game, I don't really remember the plot at all. But same with in Gen 6. Gen 6 is one of my least favorites in that I thought the plot in that was very forgettable and just not well done. Yeah, I thought the, the story in Gen 6 was pretty dumb. Yeah, and there was no after game. Pretty much, but... Maybe that's why I hated the Gen Gen 5 stuff, is because the after game was so weak. It was just these stupid trains, and it was always the same music. Like, I loved the battle frontier so much. I loved the fight area in this game. Oh. But, like, it was just so lame that it was, like... Well, oh, when I use. talk about Gen 5's after game, I think as one of the stronger ones because of the whole... Like, if you think about black and white, whereas other games, it is just there's the battle frontier, the battle village, or whatever. <laughs> In that, it was you beat the Elite Four, and then you go into the champion, but you can't fight him because villain team. And then you have a bunch of more places to go before you can retake on the champion, who is now even stronger. So, I, I really like that aspect in black and white. But just... yeah, I thought the end game part was cool, where it was like, oh shit, here's here's what's his face. Like I, I thought that was cool. Like I thought that was a cool way to end the game. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just I hated the fact that it was just the stupid trains. Like yeah, I don't know. I really like the music in the Pokemon game, so I really enjoyed having like the Battle Frontier. It's just like every building had completely different music, and the themes for all the buildings were totally totally different from each of all like and so then when they didn't bring it back i was like like really <laughs> yeah and it sucks that the battle frontier wasn't brought back in omega ruby alpha sapphire 2 but can i just say something that happened i come across a wild abra and i try and run from it because it's like i i don't want to deal with this this is just a wild abra i run can't get away and it teleports. Classic. Classic Very nice. Pokemon. Very nice. But yeah, I don't I don't really remember Diamond and Pearl's endgame that much either. Uh it oh, Diamond and Pearl also had a battle frontier, right? Yeah, they the the fight area is basically the battle frontier. Like they brought back Battle Factory, a couple of the buildings, and then they had a new one that was like the Battle Castle. Oh yeah, I remember too. I did a lot of Battle Castle. And I did a lot of Battle f 
factory, I think it was. I did whichever one had you rent the Pokemon, and also yeah, whichever one um, had like a random roulette wheel that decided something. But the one I did most um, back in Ruby and Sapphire was the Battle Pike. I love the Battle Pike. Yeah, that was cool. Shaped like a Sviper and everything. Because mm -hmm. Poison, one of my favorite types. So. Yeah, that was cool. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, so 5th gen was horrible because it was just the stupid train things. 6th uh, sixth gen, sixth was, gen was pretty lame too. It was that. It was just that one building. Yeah. Okay, the thing that I hated the most about Ruby and Sapphire was that the freaking they just bring back the stupid building again. Yeah, it's, it was it's just Battle Tower. It's literally the same. No, it's not even the Battle Tower. It's In it's Ruby the Battle Sapphire? Maison. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Oh, it's just yeah. yeah, that's what I meant to say. It, it's just the Battle Maison. Yeah. So dumb. Like, you can you can tell they just copy and pasted it. Like, even the character models for all the characters are yeah, the all exact the same. same as they were. Like the la they changed the lasses and you know like whatever cool trainers and all that to be different sprites for for Ru Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and then in the Battle Maison they're the same as in X and Y and it's like what what <laughs> yeah it's it it's not good. But then there's like an area above it where they're like, this is gonna be expanded later. So I don't know if they're like, I I really actually hope... gonna make a Battle Frontier like literally just an, an update like a downloadable update for Omega I, Ruby I Alpha would Sapphire. Love that I that don't would be think fucking awesome. Do that. If they make a DLC for Pokemon though, I'll be so mad. But I'll probably it buy it. It would not be paid. I I I would bet you that if they made Battle Frontier DLC it would not be paid. It would be free DLC, knowing Nintendo and knowing Pokemon. That's my prediction. You know, they, they're they selling every single Smash character as DLC, right? Yes. Like, True. <laughs> but and they they've have also, Amiibos. During That's the also two weeks DLC. I was During the two weeks I was gone in Israel, like, five new Splatoon weapons came out. A new map and a new mode, all for free. Well, that's just because Splatoon was like not complete when they released it. It's just like a straight up. It had like two game modes, right, and like three weapons. Yeah, it's not that it's not complete. It's that. And there were like three maps that rotated every day or something. Like it's that because Nintendo likes to baby its customers a lot they release it slowly so that people can get used to the mechanics before adding new ones since it's online multiplayer so there's not as much like oh you get these things as it goes along you have most of the stuff right away so it's everyone learning together but mm -hmm. I don't know. I I think there there's been some paid DLC with Smash. There's been some free stuff. Like I, I'm talking about. There's DLC that's added on top of the game, and then there's DLC that should have been in the game already. Like yeah. in Smash, that's why I would consider the Miiverse stage when they released it. That was a big thing, but. So I would see in po I could see in Pokemon them just adding that on as free DLC. I could see it as paid DLC, but I think that's less likely in my I mind. I mean, seriously, like every single thing in Smash is paid DLC. Like everything Amiibos, like oh my god, those things are ridiculously expensive. I just got two more Amiibos, so You're you're one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're only Propagating it. Uh, the the problem I have is so I walked over to the store. I'm having out having lunch with a friend. I'm like, hey, let's walk over a Best Buy and check out the games and stuff. I convinced him to get two 3DS games there, but I check over at the Amiibos and there's one Amiibo I had wanted to get when it came out, 
but it immediately was sold out and got to one of those things on Amazon where people sell it, but it's way overpriced. That's called scalping. Yeah. And so that's one of the most overpriced Amiibo. And they happened to have one of it in the Best Buy when I walked in there. Just one last one. And so I decided to get it. And now I have a Toad Amiibo. And... But yeah, nice. Toad is surprisingly rare. And then I got Pac-Man just because I had been thinking about getting Pac-Man from the beginning. But mm -hmm. I really want the Splatoon Amiibo because they have the most worthwhile unlocks. Like the other ones sometimes lackluster what they unlock in game. Okay. Smash stuff is really cool though. I, I do think it's pretty cool. Like... But I just hate the whole paywall between like 13 bucks or isn't it like 13 or 20 bucks or something for each of them? It's it's 12, 13, yeah. Yeah, and then <laughs> for each one, it's like, <laughs> I mean, it's really cool that it like learns from what you do. Like that is like super cool. But the fact that <laughs> it's like you have to pay for each of them, it's like so ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. For me... I find more value in them because I like them both as as use in the game. And also, not that they're just in Smash or Mario Party, whatever you associate them with, but they also are used in so many other games for things that are mostly trivial, like in Mario Kart 8 costumes, in Hyrule Warriors, a free item every day but that they're used in so much, and they're also an expression of a Nintendo character that I usually love, and their official merchandise of that character. So, that's yeah. just what I see with them. Okay, can I defeat the Starly? I am hoping that I can, but I might need to switch out. Pokemon, yep, I'm switching out. I'm yodeling it against the uh, this Onyx. Oh. We used this back. I forgot that movie even existed. I think what I'm gonna move? teach them that song. Stealth Rock. Oh, Stealth Rock, so good competitively, so useless in the main game. It's it's actually pretty bad competitively now. Really? No one really uses. It. Well, not like in doubles, no. G in doubles. Everyone or ran. In Everyone ran rocks like when it first came out in and like in fifth gen, but not yeah. like I don't think as many people use it sixth gen. Uh, I, I think, think it's so. just because not as many people can learn it. I, I guess that's true. I still try and run it. I play mainly UU, so I, I I like to use stealth rocks when I can. I don't prioritize it, but I think stealth rocks also went down because of defog. Which yeah. became better, but I know it's just so useless in the main game because nobody's really switching out their Pokemon. True. But. Okay, let's see if I can survive this cave. I'm hoping I don't need to heal. Oh, I got an HM! Man, I am way behind you. Hidden machine. Yeah, you are. Okay. Bag. Hmm. Rock smash use. It's unfortunate this Kranidus does so much damage and is way faster than my Piplup. Because it needs to die. <laughs> okay. Damn, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll send out Squawko. Okay. I feel well, like Squawko is we... probably gonna get hit with a no. rock attack. No! Use Pursuit! You son of a bitch. <laughs> well, we need to end it off soon anyway, so whenever you're ready to do the outro, go ahead. Wow. Maybe I'm not ready to do the outro? Fine then.
I guess we'll just play another 20 minutes. We'll just stay here forever. We'll just record the entire Let's Play now and make it one video. Just one massive video. There's no way that there will be audio desync, right? Right? Completely. <laughs> oh god. I think Squawko's gonna die. I think I'm gonna lose this fight against just because of this freaking Kranidos. Uh -huh. Oh, just kidding. He used Leer, GG. Yeah, I just one shot a Geo dude with my awesome Budu, who's great and amazing, and I'm totally not just trying to up your happiness right now, Budu. Please evolve. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now it's time. It's it's time to end the episode. So okay. thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, please consider leaving a like, and uh, and we'll. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.